Thanks. Thanks, Yuri. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Yuri. Your reference songbook, apart from your work as an author, is quite wide, including many classical authors. How did you develop this particular passion? And then, which is your general approach to those kind of projects, if you have one? I mean, I think it comes from having known a lot of that music from when I was a young student and music student, and in a way, thinking about it as I was trying to develop as an improviser. So by the time I was thinking of ways to use that music as a way to get improvisers to play together in a different way, I was already trying to develop different ways of doing that, using forms like theme and variation, or taking the harmony of certain parts of these classical pieces and using that as a basis to improvise, doing things like that. Uh, focusing about your inspiration from Israeli music, several fruitful musical projects come from hybrids of jazz and traditional music. Which was your spark? I mean, well, only because I guess I was listening to that type of music as a young boy, and my parents wanted to speak Hebrew to all my brothers and sisters, so one of the ways they did that was by playing a lot of Israeli folk music. And so we, we heard a lot of different types of music, but most of it was like from Yemen and mm -hmm. the uh, Mizrahi musical culture, which is much more based on Arabic music. So that sort of became something that I just heard of as a young boy. Are there any pillars or balance points in your musical research and career, consequently? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I think that you, every project that you try to do, you try to sort of make it into something that is uh, complete on some level that you can, and especially if you're performing it live, but inevitably it becomes transformed as you do it over and over again in different situations. It's, the recording is one thing and then once you start playing it live with the group it develops into something else. And, it's all normal. It's just something that happens as people play the same music together. Uh, being so multifaceted and original and having great respect of any kind of music, I'd like to ask you which are the most promising direction or trend in music today, in your opinion? I mean, Difficult I think to say. It's expressed through all the young musicians that are doing new things through electronic music or. Uh, sort of performance-based chamber music and uh, composers that are writing in that direction and uh, many improvisers are using many traditions uh, from the past and also, you know, trying to explore a new way to combine these different things. So I, I think it's a very rich period with a lot of music now. Which will be your next moves, projects or dreams? Uh, you know, I wrote a lot of music during the pandemic, which would be nice to record. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I have certain projects that I hope that, you know, I have music for. And we'll just see what happens, you know, like everything else. But uh, I guess now it's a time of optimism now that things are starting to happen again. So it's, it's hopefully these things will happen. Uh, with a name like yours, Hurricane, Hurricane, which kind of kid you was? Uh, you know, I don't know. I think very, you know, once I started getting into music, I was sort of the same that I am now. Because uh, I saw that my, already there was a group of people, young guys, that were trying to play music. And that, that was a good thing for me growing up. Otherwise, I would have gone into a lot of crazy ways. So I've always been part of that. Brotherhood and sisterhood of musicians, you know, even as a young young person looking up to the great musicians that were older than me, I just, just thought to myself, this is, I belong in this world more. So. Thanks a lot, you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs>